The views and opinions of the hosts and guests are their own and do not necessarily reflect the position of the management and staff of Guardian Network. For your just desserts, it's not just the words. Some of y'all heads up in the cloud. I'ma bring y'all back to earth. It's black, black, the burn. Y'all talking about out your mouth. I'm not concerned, cause y'all got the nerve. It's y'all turned like Detroit Red when his head had an ultra perm. The long walk, I burn your bare heels, so throw on your boots. The game camouflage like army suits. But I can see it more clear, cause I came with the coop in here. Ring the alarm, inform the troops. Send them out into the world, go to war on the fluke. Out of eye with the enemy, you sworn to shoot. Now I'm coming at your neck, sick of hearing something wrong with me. Wrong with you. When the cheap just way too smart to question. The enemy, the brothers of a dark complexion. The governments of the world, the shark infested. They have the own weaponry like Shark and Heston, man. Look, it gets low, man. Uh-huh. No, no, I'm talking about. Talking Heads with Monty is sponsored by Alive, BTC, Burger King, the Cancer Treatment Centers of America, Dunkin' Donuts, Charles Department Store, J.S. Johnson, Joker's Wild, KFC, Naughty Johnny's, Percy's Island Games, and Tropical Gyros. Changes. Wake up in the morning and I ask myself, it's like worth living, should I blast myself? I'm tired of being poor and even worse, I'm black, my stomach hurts, so I'm looking for a purse to snatch. Cops give a damn about a need, bro, pull a trigger, kill him, he's a heat, bro. Get it to the kids who the hell cares, one less hungry mouth on the welfare. First ship them, don't let them deal with brothers, give them guns, step back, watch them kill each other. It's time to fight back, that's what Huey said, two shots in the dark, now Huey's dead. I got love for my brothers, but we can never go nowhere unless we share with each other. We gotta start making changes, learn to see me as a brother instead of two distant strangers. And that's how it's supposed to be, how can the devil take a brother if he's close to me? Uh, I let it go back to when we played as kids, but then it changed. That's the way it is. Come on, come on. That's just the way it is. Things will never be the same That's just the way it is Oh yeah Oh come on, come on, come on That's just the way it is Things will never be the same That's just the way it is Oh yeah I see no changes, all I see is racist faces Misplaced hate makes disgrace to racist We under, I wonder what it takes to make this One better place, let's erase the waste it Take the evil out the people, they'll be acting right Cause both black and white, and I'm tonight And the only time we chill is when we kill each other It takes guilt to be real time to heal each other And although it seems heaven sent, we ain't ready to see a black president uh, It ain't a secret or concealed a fact A penitentiary's packed and it's filled with blacks but some things will never change Try to show another way But you're staying in the dope game Now tell me what's a mother to do Being real don't appeal to the brother in you You gotta operate the easy way I made a G today But you made it in a sleazy way Sell it back to the kids I gotta get paid Well, hey, well that's the way it is Come on, come on That's just the way it is Things will never be the same that's just the way it is. Oh yeah. Oh come on, come on, come on. That's just the way it is. Things will never be the same. That's just the way it is. Oh yeah. We gotta make a change. It's time for us as a people to start making some changes. Let's change the way we eat, let's change the way we live, and let's change the way we treat each other. You see, the old way wasn't working, so it's on us to do what we gotta do to survive. And still I see no changes, can a brother get a little peace? It's war on the streets and a war in the Middle East. Instead of war on poverty, they 
got a war on drugs so the police can bother me. And I ain't never did a crime I ain't have to do. But now back with the box, giving it back to you. Don't let them jack you up, back you up, crack you up, and pip smack you up. You gotta learn to hold your own. They get jealous when they see you with your mobile phone. But tell the cops I can't touch this. I don't trust this. When they try to rush, I bust this. That's the sound number two. You say it ain't cool. My mama didn't raise no fool. And as long as I stay black, I gotta stay strapped. And I never get to lay back. Cause I always gotta worry about the payback. Some buck that I roughed up way back. Coming back after all these years. Right, tat, 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 tat. That's the way it is. Uh. That's just the way it is. That's just the way it is. Things will never be the same. That's just the way it is. Oh yeah. Things will never be the same. That's just the way it is. Oh yeah. Things will never change. Hey, what up? It's your boy, Naughty. The uh, Friday, November 25th edition of uh, Talking Heads is going to come to you live from Dunkin' Donuts called Michael. As soon as I can get there, dear God, traffic on this road is ridiculous. It is more than Black Friday. It is like Blackout Friday. There's traffic everywhere. I don't know I don't know where all this traffic has come from. I, I, I've been on the road for 45 minutes trying to get here, like, like literally. And everywhere you look is traffic upon traffic. So I, I, I would proceed, uh, you know, to tell all the cars. Uh, well, I'll actually tell all the drivers to proceed with caution and care. All right. And uh, yeah, if you're in the area of Carmichael or Southwest Plaza area, uh, try to avoid it. Traffic is crazy, crazy beyond crazy. So uh, we're gonna bust off one or two more old school hip hop joints for you in short order. I'll be coming to you live from Duncan Carmichael. We'll be talking with the Rotary Reps, all right, from Rotary Club of uh, Old Fort Bay and Rotary Clubs International. They got a great promotion going on with Duncan. So make sure you get your blue donuts. And then, of course, uh, it's Friday, so we'll deal, deal with the week in review. All the ish that hit the fan for the last week, for the past week, we'll get caught up on it, have a review on it. And, uh, you know, let you chime on in when we open up the lines and the text lines. In addition to that, don't forget it's Friday, so we'll uh, be talking sports in the five o'clock hours you always do. But we got all your NFL picks coming up, and we'll recap those games yesterday. What I tell you, remember I called it yesterday. Somebody called in and was like, "Naughty, you sound worried about your Cowboys." I said, "Listen, man, it's all said and done. The Cowboys could win the game 27 to 20, right? Final score 28 to 20. We'll talk about that in the sports, all right? So it's all coming up in short order." In the meantime, uh, y'all just keep nodding your head to these old school classics that, that's coming at you. I'm, I'm, I'm impressed. I didn't know Mr. Producer had it in it in, in, in him this afternoon, man. I, I really didn't know that, especially for a youngster. So keep it right where you got it. The uh, Friday, November 25th edition of Talking Heads is coming at you right after this. I think I'm trapped 
confident on my father, trying to hope for tomorrow. When I think that I can't, I envision Obama. I envision them diamonds. I envision Ferraris. If the world was perfect, all my d- is behind me. Ain't you happy I made it? Then I'm making a statement. Take a look, and you can tell that I'm destined for greatness. Tell me what do you see when you're looking at me? And let's the good vibes flow with their new blood orange refresher bursting with flavor. Duncan Blood Orange Refreshers balance bold, sweet blood orange with tart cranberry and a hint of all spices for a fun twist on a much loved flavor. Served over ice with either green tea or coconut milk, Duncan Blood Orange Refreshers are loaded with B vitamins to keep you feeling renewed and refreshed. What are you waiting for? The Bahamas runs on Duncan. John Shoes and Accessories, your one-stop shop for all your footwear needs. Whatever the occasion, John's is confident you will find what you're looking for. Among our always growing collection of amazing and trendy styles, we cover women, men, children, the whole family. Together with John's great prices and helpful and friendly customer service, your experience in shopping with us will be time well spent. Too busy to come in store? Shop with us online, www.johnshoes.com. John's also now carry small home appliances. So come on in today at John's. Be put fashion at your feet. The fine style with elegant taste. The fine threads is your place. If you want those slots hemmed or just taking the waist, then fine threads is your place. If you want to look suave and debonair everywhere you go, like you're supposed to be in a video, want to step out and look great, then fine threads is your place. The fine style with elegant taste. Then fine threads is your place. Is your place. Is your place. When I had got prostate cancer, my family didn't know if I was going to live at Cancer Treatment Center of America. Then days, I got an appointment. They presented me with treatment options, and we set up a robotic prostatectomy. When my scans came back, there were no signs of cancer. They don't see you as a number. They see you as a part of the family. I'm going on with my life. It's a real gift. Call us at Cancer Treatment Centers of America. It's time to say hello to finger-licking good KFC Bites. KFC Chicken Bites are freshly hand-breaded bites of premium white meat, seasoned with the Colonel's original recipe of 11 herbs and spices. These boneless KFC Bites are made by the fried chicken experts and include your choice of mango habanero, buffalo, barbecue, honey mustard, ranch, or special KFC sauce for that grown-up taste you'll enjoy. Dip, dip, hooray! KFC Bites, it's finger looking good. This is Guardian Radio, 96.9 FM. Fresh news, smart talk, all day.
Wednesday, sorry, the Friday, the Friday, the Friday, November 25th edition of Talking Heads continues right now. And yes, just like that, bada bing, bada boom, I'm here, Duncan Carmichael, ready to run on Duncan. And don't forget, man, the season sippings are going on at Duncan, man. You definitely got to check them out, okay? They got the flavors for the Christmas here, all right? They got the peppermint going on. They got the brown sugar cookie, yeah, <laughs> signature latte is going on, all right? And they got the twisted white chocolate, all right? The toasted white chocolate, as a matter of fact. All in, man. Season sippings are on at Duncan. The flavors of the season are here right through to Christmas, man. That's what I'm talking about. And don't forget that they got the holiday cheer going on, too, for Thanksgiving. It's still going on for you as well. Definitely want to check out that turkey cranberry croissant sandwich. You got the small iced tea. You got the, the, the popcorners. They're all, all, you know, all of that together. Nine dollars, that included. That's a great deal going on. And that might be the sandwich of the day for us out here on the road. Because, <laughs> you know, we expect post-turkey turkey. So, you know, turkey sandwich is an option. And then some of y'all got some steamed turkey. And some turkey salad, and some more turkey salad, and turkey soup, and then some more steamed turkey. <laughs> Rewind. But I hope you had a good Thanksgiving. Hope you enjoyed your day yesterday. And um, so uh, if you want to take us wherever you want to go, you want to stream us live, whether it's uh, on your tablet, on your laptop, on your phone, guardiantalkradio.com. That's guardiantalkradio.com. If you want to chime in today, well, real easy, you know, you can uh, chime in on 325-4316. That's 325-4316. All right? That way, you know, that's the line we working with today. I had a couple with issues, so we wanted to make sure, you know, work that out for you. 325-4316. And you can text us on the uh, Guardian Radio text line, powered by BTC, 422-4796. That's 422-GR96, 422-4796. Chime on in via the text lines or via the phone. Now, mind you, you definitely want to go blue all month long right here at your favorite Duncan location. Get your blue donut, your medium coffee, and part proceeds that I purchase are going to go to Rotary Clubs of Old Fort Bay and, of course, Rotary Clubs International. And all supporting the worthy cause, and you know, they do great things in the community. So definitely take advantage of that at all locations. Downtown Bay Street, Paradise Island, Palmdale, Burnham Road with the drive through East Street South with the drive through Carmichael, the newest location where we're at, and out at the airport, pre-clearance and post-clearance. So no reason for you not to be running on Duncan, all right? And I'm supporting Rotary as well. Now, got to look at some of the things buzzing today. Oh, and of course, you know the headlines. We got to get into the headlines. And don't forget, as we get into the headlines, it's all brought to you, of course, by Fine Threads. And Fine Threads doing big things. They got the huge Black Friday sale going on right up until 6 p.m. So you still got time to get on down there. Top of the hill, Mackey Street, the flagship store. And right down the street here at the Southwest Shopping Plaza, both locations open for you. And the huge Black Friday sale going on right now. Take advantage of it, all right? 20% off Black Friday sale, both locations, 20% off everything. Top of the Hill, Mackey Street, and the Southwest Shopping Plaza location to find threads. And uh, as we look at the headlines, FTX continuing to grab the headlines. And folks, still, you know, trying to formulate their opinions on it and, and spin it, you know, to their advantage. But the facts remain the same. Some things are undeniable. Some things you can't get off of. You can't avoid. So I think now we have to be proactive in that regard, get in front of it, rather than reactive. Because... It's better to play from in front than from behind, playing catch-up perennially. Now we got the renewed focus on the shantytown issues. And when I saw this, I was like, didn't they form a committee already? 
story by Jasper Ward. Interministerial committee to be formed to address building crown land violations. Press Secretary in the Office of the Prime Minister, Clint Watson, said yesterday that the government will form an interministerial committee to address the Bahamas Shantytown issue. The Minister of Works is leading the charge, Watson said during a weekly briefing at the OPM. He is the minister responsible for this. He's also responsible for the Building Control Act, which when we last would have talked, I spoke about that, that being a very key aspect and what the, the law is saying about it and being able to move forward. All right, hold on, time out. Uh, Mr. Sears, all right with me. But he got a bad streak going lately. All right? Check out the roads. Still pothole laden. And you can't say nothing, Mr. Sears, because go in Boyd Road, look in front of your headquarters. Dig right up. That's a patchwork. I know you get a contract to do that payment, but I tar it. My God. That's, that's a new company. That's some, like first time I say. You let them practice it. So you got that going for you. The situation about the, the hedging with BPL, and you're a little misleading in the house there. And now you want us to have complete confidence in Mr. Sears to get this done with the shanty towns? I wonder why that's maybe interministerial. Maybe they're trying to get him some help, and this is a nice way of doing it. Okay? And uh, the minister administration on the cabinet subcommittee aimed at addressing the same issue. That committee was led by then Minister of Labor Dion Folks. Well, we see it's progressed to where we are now. Obviously, the minister administration didn't get it done. This administration, currently the Davis administration, seems not to be able to get it done in this regard. So hopefully this subcommittee could work. I'm just saying. Whew. I don't know. You got to get Mr. Sears focused on this one, man. He, he's, he's in battle right now. He got to come in at him from all sides. Got to remain focused. This is kind of big. You know, people want the, the shantytown issues dealt with. Long overdue. Now we got some uh, local news as well. Grocers complying with price control amendments. This according to Minister of Economic Affairs, Michael Alkides, who said yesterday that grocers are complying with the government's expanded price control list, which was introduced to bring relief to Bahamians grappling with inflation. We have our inspectors in the field, Alkides said, and I'm being advised by them. By and large, there is compliance with the new regulations. They're doing an analysis that they will share with us, but so far they're finding compliance with the expanded list. Yeah, you got that expanded list, but you still can't get too much at the grocery store, man, because between, you know, that and other things, that, that $100 don't stretch as far as it used to when it comes to groceries. Not even the 200 But we'll see. Green Slade to take up new posts as ambassador to South Africa. Bahamas High Commission to the United Kingdom in Northern Ireland, Ellison Greenslade, said he will serve as the Bahamas ambassador to South Africa and nine other countries. Greenslade made the announcement dinner to staff of the High Commission in London, according to a video of the event. In late October, I traveled to the Bahamas for a, for a dip week. While there, I signed a new contract to serve as the ambassador to South Africa and nine African countries, he said. These countries include Botswana, Zimbabwe, Tanzania, Kenya, Malawi, Rwanda, Eswatini, Burundi, and Sudan. And the contract takes effect December 1st, 2022. So there you have it. Wow. So I wish Mr. Greenslade the best. Scholar and the gentleman. I think you'll do fine in the posting and do well for the country. I, and I don't think he'll, you know, spend 600 grand on furniture. I'm just, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. All right. As we slide out of the headliners, into the buzz, all brought to you, of course, by John Shoes. And John's uh, got it going on as well for Black Tech Boat locations, John's Plaza, Carmichael, and the flagship store over there on Rosetta today. Both go, uh, you know, having great uh, Black Friday deals as well. And remember, John, serving you is a pleasure. And listen, people, I, I can't tell you a word of lie. All right? This continued buzz with the FTX fallout. Can we now stop 
with the addition of the conspiracy theories to it. It is subjudice. It is before the courts. That seems to be the, the, the angle and, and the line that this current administration is taking. Well, it's before the courts. We can't talk about it. So if we are going to talk about it in circles, deal with the facts that are actually there, that are on the table, that we know, and that are tangible. TikTok videos ain't cutting it. You got some other quality videos that are out there that are well produced by, by credible journalists and, and media houses internationally. But you know, Billy the Skater on TikTok, I might have an issue with that. I don't care if he's got a million viewers. The content in there may be incorrect. And a lot of y'all buying into certain things that don't affect us. We need to focus on the issues in that regard that do affect us. And how are we going to be better moving forward? That we still don't end up with another foreign investor of a lighter hue, you know, with a bow tie and a briefcase and a dream or a scheme. And here we go. We got to get better as far as who we elect. And once we elect, those individuals, they need to do better. Especially when you know better, you need to do better. You can't keep repeating the same mistakes over and over and over again, chasing pie in the sky, money deals. Not all of them pan out, as you can see. And sometimes if the deal is too good to be true, then maybe it is too good to be true. You know, you always got to remember, you know, Robert De Niro line. You've got to be able to be prepared to walk away from any and anything in 15 seconds. It is what it is. When you linger too long, sometimes you end up with a bum deal. And you got nobody to blame but yourself because you had the opportunity to get off of it or change the cycle or change the culture, and you did it. But I'll tell you, a lot of people talking. And internationally, we're still tied to this thing, and our brand is still getting damaged. And sticking our heads in the sand and not talking about it when we can and where we can, taking the whole subject, each portion out of it, what we are permitted to talk about, we still need to continue the conversation. This is not going to go on the back burner internationally, so we can't let it go on the back burner locally. It should be just as important to us as anywhere else. And if tough questions need to be asked, and tough questions need to be asked. And if names be, need to be called from both sides of the then so be it. If the two major parties, you know, have, have had uh, dealings, uh, and an implicit, you know, dealings with um, BFTX and, F and SBF, then let the chips fall where they may. But at the end of the day, we need to look at it. And we need to ask tough questions. And we need to find this info out so we can figure out and formulate a way forward so we don't keep making the same mistakes. So let's get to the break. It's 4.45 p.m. Flips out of the break. We'll be back and wrap up uh, this first hour. We're live. Duncan Carmichael getting it in. And uh, on the flip side, we'll wrap up uh, the buzz. We'll, uh, you know talk a bit more and let you guys chime in. I see some text rolling in too. So we'll get to them on the flip side of the break. All right, as we continue the Friday, November 25th edition, live from Dunkin' Donuts, Carmichael, right after this.
King wants you to ride into the holidays in style with a brand new 2022 BYD Han all-electric sedan from Easy Car Sales. It's as easy as one, two, three. Just upgrade your favorite combo for one ticket or double your chances with a King combo or triple your chance to win with the purchase of a BK family deal. It's electric at Burger King this holiday where you get the chance to win a 2022 BYD Han EV sedan when you upgrade your combo at Burger King Nassau where taste is king. Play, we making dreams come true. Play with Island Games. We paying more out to you. Don't mind the noise in the market. You get cash in your pocket. Cause Island Games is spicy and spicy is tradition. So when you play, play Island Games. we put in Bahamian's voice. Guaranteed to play Island Games. We like them mother jokers. We've been here from the start. From the bike to computer. Island Games. We can make your dreams come true. We playing with Island Games. I used to think of the bank as my personal ATM machine. If I wanted a new car, new furniture, a weekend trip to Miami, no problem. Just max out the credit card or top up my loan. I was a big baller until I realized that 75% of my salary was going to pay back all those loans. Fidelity's personal financial coaching was the best solution. Fidelity gave me a plan with a debt consolidation loan that has a built-in savings that pays 5% interest. I now only have one low monthly payment kit. Give Fidelity Bank a call at 356-7764 in Nassau or 352-6676 in Freeport. Visit any of Fidelity's locations or visit a website at fidelitygroup.com. This is Guardian Radio 96.9 FM, Nassau, Bahamas. Friday, November 25th edition continues right now. Um, listen, you all taxes, I appreciate you all, but you all should be a little bigger, you know. You just busted off the music to, to fill a couple of minutes to make up for the traffic situation. I'm not doing a Friday thing. I, hey, I think Chivago does a great job on Friday with the Funkadelic Radix digging in the crates. He's done an awesome job. But I, I, I had years of entertaining you all with radio and music. You know, it's a different chapter in my career now. We can talk. <laughs> but I promise, man, I tell you what, what we'll do is we'll find a happy medium. What we'll do on Fridays, Monday through Thursday, you all tell me your, your top five old school joints you want me to play. And we'll pick a genre every week. One week we go old school reggae, one school we go old school hip hop, R and B, so on, so on and so forth. And then at least you get five joints as we come in, as we go to the break, as we come out, as we go in. You see what I mean? And that way everybody should be happy. But I ain't digging in the crates every Friday. Been there, done that, got the T-shirt, got the awards. Thank you for supporting me, but let's do the talk thing. All right. Um. <laughs> I can't repeat that one on there. Y'all, y'all are in rare form on this Friday. I swear, I swear, I swear. Now, don't forget, coming up in the 5 o'clock hour, we will be talking sports. We'll give you some uh, battle for Atlanta, uh, Atlanta's coverage, as well as all the hoops going on down there at Bahama. We'll get you caught up on that. We'll also talk uh, a recap of, of the NFL games yesterday. 
Had some good games yesterday. The Bills, the Cowboys, and the Vikings, all winners yesterday. We'll talk about that. We'll get you ready for the picks going on. Pearlie will chime in. And uh, we'll get you ready for the weekend. But uh, like I said, a lot of football played yesterday. And we got a lot to talk about. Because at the end of the day, um, it's getting to that time in football. It's getting time at that time in, in the football season where the rubber meets the road like this week and next week. You're going to see some drastic changes. You're going to see some pressure creep into some teams because it's getting late in the day. You know, your top-tier teams, your division leaders, and your, your, four, your five and six seeds, they're good. We're talking about those seven seeds, some six seeds in, in, in the AFC because it's, it's wide open. And, and these are critical weeks right now for positioning. So we'll see who, uh, you know, could pass the test. Or who falls away? Because, I, I, you know, after week 10 and after Thanksgiving, like week 11, week 12, week 13, you see people and things kind of clear up and you know what the playoff landscape is going to look like and what's on the horizon. So we'll talk all of that. But like I said, for the week that was, man, we got a lot to look about, look at and, and, and recap. And it doesn't, and it seems like the FTX scenario and drama and saga Okay? okay. It is not going anywhere. And uh, come Monday, hey, I think it'll still be at the top of the docket. I still think it'll be with everything that the, the international media is still talking about. And, and we still have, you know, the continued fallout and the continued media coverage from all over the globe. And everybody trying to get a scoop and an angle. So a lot of stuff is going to come out. So we, we have to Keep an eye on that, and I think we need to get in front of it now. Don't stay playing from behind. Play from in front. And we also have to keep an eye on the crime situation as well because we're focused on all these other things. But we had a shooting today. A woman shot in the jail alley area. We've had other incidents. And we have to remember we do have a crime crisis. We do have a crime problem. I hate to disagree with the commissioner or police, but we do. And Christmas season is coming up, and you're already seeing little incidents here and there in shopping lots, uh, shopping up, uh, center parking lots, food store parking lots. You have to be diligent. You have to be aware. And especially the ladies, because at this time of year, people like to take advantage of ladies shopping. Remain focused, ladies. You can't, you can't get distracted. I, I know 50% off rocks your boat. I, I know two for one and great deals for the Christmas rock your boat, but don't get caught up in all of that, as you should be enjoying yourself. And, and don't lose focus and get distracted, because unfortunately there's some unsavory elements and some criminal elements after the season, as they always do. And of course we need to be in this regard as well, Knowing is half the battle. Again, proactive rather than reactive. Don't forget, coming up in the 5 o'clock hour, top of the hour, we got the news for you. As soon as that's done, we'll hook you up with uh, Today in Sports History, brought to you, of course, by Naughty Johnny's, and Pearlie will be chiming in. So that's all coming up on the flip side of the break. But as you get into the weekend again, though, you got to focus. I don't want to be Debbie Downer. I don't want to be, you know, trying to be all, you know, Gloom and doom, but we have to be vigilant. We don't need any more statistics. We don't need any more murders. We don't need any more, you know, robberies and assaults and so on and so forth. And we have to keep talking about it. We can't get caught up in the moment and lose focus because that's when we have tragic situations occur. So we'll get ready to get to the news. We'll take uh, the quick break on the flip side. Of the news, we'll be into the five o'clock hour. And like I said, with Carmichael getting it in, don't forget the season sippings are going on. They got the uh, toasted white chocolate. They got the uh, peppermint uh, macchiato going on, which is all good, and the brown sugar cookie signature latte as well. Mm-hmm. 
And that peppermint mocha is all good too. You can get that in the signature latte as well. But yeah, like I said, all good for the season sippings. And they still got the holiday cheer going on as well. The post the Thanksgiving holiday cheer, they still got the turkey cranberry croissant sandwich going on, the great combo with the small iced tea and the popcorners, $9, fat included. And of course, they got the donuts going on for you and your favorite sandwich combos. So you definitely need to check all locations of Dunkin' Donuts out. Downtown Bay Street, Paradise Island, Palmdale, Vernon Road with the drive-thru, East Street South with the drive-thru, Carmichael, the newest location, and two out of the airport, pre-clearance and post-clearance. As you know, the Bahamas runs on Dunkin'. And I'm going to grab my Dunkin' and run right into the break, and we'll be back at you live, Dunkin' Carmichael, right after the news as the Friday, November 25th edition of Talking Heads continues right after this. This is Guardian Radio 96.9 FM, Nassau, Bahamas. Out for your just desserts, it's up in the cloud. I'ma bring y'all back to earth. It's black, black, the bird. Y'all talking about out your mouth. I'm not concerned, cause y'all got the learn. It's y'all turned like Detroit Red when his head had an ultra burn. The long walk, I burn your bare heels, so throw on your boots. The game camouflage like army suits, but I can see it more clear, cause I came with the coop in here. Ring the alarm and form the troops. Send them out into the world, go to war on the flu. Out to eye with the enemy, you sworn to shoot. Now I'm coming at your neck, sick of hearing something wrong with me. On with you. When the chief just way too smart to question The enemy, the brothers of a dark complexion The governments of the world, the shark infested They have the own weaponry like shark and Heston, man Look, it gets low, man uh, No, no, I'm talking about uh, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Friday, November 25th edition of Talking Heads continues right now We are live Duncan Carmichael location, getting it in and like I said, it is the Friday edition. And uh, before we get into the sports, I got a deal here from Duncan. And of course, you know, Duncan is doing big things with the Rotary Clubs of uh, Old Fort and Rotary Club International. They got a blue donut going on and the medium coffee. And now you get that special, that combo, part proceeds go to the, the Rotary Clubs of uh, Rotary Clubs International and of Old Fort, correct? Yes, correct. And we are excited to partner again this year with Rotary Club of Old Fort Bay. This year we are offering a Rotary Combo, a part of the world's greatest um, combo campaign. And that campaign runs through all of our Duncan locations and that ends on December 12th. So we're encouraging um, the public, our community, our corporate partners, our consumers to come out to any of our Dunkin' locations. And when you come and purchase a Rotary Combo, you part proceeds from, those, from that combo, sorry, will be donated to the Rotary Club of Old Fort. All right, so get your blue donuts. You can still get it for the rest of the month, correct? Yes, until December 12th. Oh, until December 12th. You see that? So you got until into, even into December to get your blue donut special going on and, and do a good thing with Rotary Clubs International. But listen, I see the season uh, sippings about, well, you're really trying to get people in trouble with these flavors again this year. 
The holidays have officially started. Sippings, like our POP says, we have three delicious flavors. We have the toasted white chocolate signature latte, our peppermint mocha latte, and also our new brown sugar cookie. Yeah, I, I went to check out the brown sugar cookie because, you know, I, I, I familiar with the toasted white, uh, you know, white chocolate. And, and the peppermint, you know, white, yeah, I'm good with that. I, I ain't got to try that new cookie one. Yeah, and I, look, I noticed the, the holiday chair going on with the, with the turkey sandwich. That's a good look and a good taste. Yes, definitely. We have the turkey cranberry on a croissant. The sandwich is so delicious. We encourage our consumers to come out to any of your favorite Dunkin' locations and purchase it. And run on Dunkin'. And let me tell you, if you like a good turkey sandwich, that's a good turkey sandwich. I already had one. I could endorse it. It's all good. So check it out, and it's available at all Dunkin' locations, correct? Yes, all of our locations. So be sure to check it out, and as, like I tell you, get the blue combo. Get the blue donut, and get the, the medium coffee, and then at the end of the day, you know, you, you part proceeds go to Rotary Club International and Rotary Club of Old Fort Bay. All right, so definitely want to check that out. Uh, dear, I know you're getting ready to get into your weekend. It's Black Friday. I know you're going to shop online. Listen. I am going to shop online, but I just want to let our part of the Bahamas Dining Rewards app. Got mine today. That Black Friday bonus points are available all weekend at Dunkin'. All weekend? Not just today? All weekend. You can get beat by it. I'm telling you all that now. <laughs> so just take a peek into the app, and then you will see that you can get bonus points for different um, combos, like our turkey cheddar bacon. Also, if you purchase a dozen donuts, you get bonus points. And our holiday beverages, our lattes, espresso-based beverages, bonus points as well. Bonus galore at Dunkin', man. Have a great weekend out there. Good to see you, man. We're going to talk sports now. But get the blue donut combo. Like I said, it supports a worthy cause. Rotary Clubs International and Rotary Clubs of Old Fort Bay. And like I say, it is a good luck. So let's slide on in like we do each and every day as we set off the sports. We got uh, Today in Sports History, all brought to you, of course, by Naughty Johnny's. Well, went the trip out there to the Old Fort Shopping Plaza. And don't forget, today's Friday. So that means it's happy hour at Naughty Johnny's, 5 to 7. It just started. Well, went the trip out there to the Old Fort Shopping Plaza. Give them a call, see what they got going on for you, 377-7776. And don't forget, on the weekend, Saturday and Sunday, breakfast, lunch, and dinner at Naughty Johnny's. Breakfast starting at 9 a.m. So let's jump on in and have a look. Uh, what happened on today, on this day in sports history? All brought to you across by Naughty Johnny's, November 25th, 1921. The first play-by-play -play broadcast of a football game was aired in College Station, Texas, via an amateur radio station. The game was between the University of Texas and the Texas A&M in Austin. 1961, Bob Cousy of the Boston Celtics scored a point. 1965. The first color broadcast of an NFL game aired on CBS. The Detroit Lions and the Baltimore Colts played to a 24-24 tie. 1976, O.J. Simpson of the Buffalo Bills ran for 273 yards against the Detroit Lions. 1980, Larry Holmes knocked out Marvis Frazier in the first round to retain the world heavyweight title. 2002, Pete Rose and Baseball Commissioner Bud Seeley meet secretly to discuss Rose's lifetime ban from baseball. And, of course, your sports quote of the day. You have to perform at a consistently higher level than the others. That's the mark of a true professional. Joe Paterno, Penn State. Joe Pa, the famous coach. And that's a wrap right there on Today in Sports History. All brought to you, of course, by Naughty Johnny's. <clears throat> and now... Uh, Let's try, let's see if our Pearly's ready to chime in. Earl the Pearl, are you there, my brother? I am here, I am here, I am here, I am here, I believe I'm here. All right, I hope you had a good Thanksgiving. Hope all is well with you and yours, and the family's doing well. Long day, but everything is good. Everything's fine. Beautiful. Well, I missed you over there at Atlantis yesterday, but I ate and drank for both food. of us. I'm sure you did. I missed it. I was like, dude. Called me oh, right. hog moly. I was eating in installments. Real I was dog. trying to I was trying to tote too. Okay. But it didn't no, make it. To total I ate that too. It was no, that good. To the hotel. 
You and the brewskis were flowing. Post-broadcast, the brewskis was flowing. It was a good look. NC State and uh, Dayton played a great game yesterday. I caught the end of that as NC State blew them out. And uh, uh, Travion Smith, that little guard for NC State, man, really nice player right there. I think they got somebody special in him, man. He plays the game really well, a lot of intensity, a lot of passion. Inside, outside player, too, as a guard, takes it to the hole, finishes strong. Nice jump shot game, nice, nice jumper game going on, similar to DeMar DeRozan, I think. That would be a good NBA comparison. So, finals going on tonight. Kansas and Tennessee. That's going to be a solid game. You still there, Perry? I would love to. I'm here. I would love to watch it. I, love, I, I think they got away yesterday. They went by a couple of points yesterday. yesterday. They opened with a tough one against NC State. Right. And right. Uh, they only won 80 to 74. Then Wisconsin um, took them to overtime Wisconsin yesterday. Played. Yeah, Wisconsin played them tough. Uh huh. And I think Wisconsin is going to be a team that you need to look for come tournament time because I think yeah. Brown State Jell is a team, they're going to be hard to beat. Yeah, but I, I, it depends on how. I, I don't know. My, I, I've not following them too much yet, but I'm going to see what their depth looks like. They have a good start five, but I don't know what their bench is like. And they can give you a game like that, but I don't know if they can give you a. a, a, a uh, March Madness tight tournament, you know, you got to play two games this week, two games actually, and, and, and it's, it's a lot of pressure. That's a lot of different, that's different than this little, that's different than coming here and having a good time with the Bahamas playing some basketball. Well, I'm telling you, the bracket is solid. It's played its way down. Okay. And I'm, I'm thinking, Earl, tonight we're going to see a great game. Because I think so too. Tennessee think so too. advanced against Butler. South uh, USC advanced against BYU. Okay. Kansas advanced against NC State. Dayton advanced. I mean, Wisconsin advanced against Dayton. Okay. So that means the winner of Kansas and Wisconsin goes to the final, and the winner of Tennessee USC goes to the final. And I think Tennessee knocked off USC yesterday. So the final is Kansas Tennessee. And then the consolation game, third and fourth place, would be Wisconsin and USC. They'll play for third and fourth. And that'll be the, the second game tonight. So the, the finals, 7.30 from the Imperial Arena. Then the second game at 10 p.m. So you got two hot games tonight. So you got seven thirty. You got Kansas and Tennessee at seven thirty. Correct, and that's going to be on ESPN. Mm -hmm. If you can make it there live, and right. then the and then ten PM game um, is. And then is, is NC State, USC, Wisconsin tomorrow night. No, that was already. That was the no, no. That they already played that. US uh, Wisconsin beat USC today. 64-59. In early so tomorrow, games today? Yeah, that was in an early game. There's no there's no tomorrow, Pearly. The final then, is tonight. I'm, I'm looking at it right now. I see Wisconsin, that's beat, beat, that's what's the consolation game then. USC, that's beat Wisconsin 64 to 59. I mean, Wisconsin beat USC 64 to 59. So then that means and then at 7, at 7 NC State. Kansas and Tennessee. And there's a 10 p.m. game tonight as well. That's NC State and Butler. Boom. There you go. That's your third and fourth place game right there. NC State and Butler's the third and fourth place game? Yeah. That's the 10 p.m. game. Oh, so they're playing that late. Mm-hmm. Okay. So you got good basketball today. That NC State-Butler yeah, game is going to be solid. I need to check that out. That, 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 that sounds like fun. Holler at your boy, Pearly. You know what to do. That sounds like a lot of fun to me. Holler at your boy, Pearly. You know what to do. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, like I say. Yes, sir. I don't know about the 7.30, though, because those tickets were flying yesterday. But I know tickets are available for the 10 p.m. 10 p.m. game. So, take advantage of that. And uh, yep. 
Yep. Just call the Adonis Box Office, 363-6601. They got the uh, tailgate party going on as well, extended to 8 p.m. $80 plus VAT, but it's all you could eat and all you could drink. And I don't know about you, but I could do damage at a bar for all you could drink in two hours. What about you, Purdy? Um, I have been a while, but I still, I think I still got it. I, still, I think I still got or it. I intend to find You could do damage with all you could I eat for two hours. In short order. Sorry? You could do damage for all you could eat for two hours. Both. Mash it right up. But definitely, oh, yeah, you want me. to see some good basketball. You know, no, but I realize, I realize, I can't, I, I said, I, I tell my girlfriend that's like, I realize I can't, I can't eat as much as I used to. And I mean, food. I can't eat as much food as I used to. <laughs> Wally, yeah. <laughs> go, go ahead, Purdy. Don't mind us. I used to have a platter Thanksgiving or Christmas. <laughs> now I have to eat the regular plate of food. Like, you know, I I, I guess the only you get, you, you don't eat as much food as you used to. My Plus, again, yeah. you know, I, I lost a lot of weight, trimmed down and worked on that. So I had the rules, but I, you know, put all this hard work to me in vain. But he missed mine yesterday. I'm and sure that, you did. I'm sure you did. I paid. I paid for it at like three or four in the morning. You need bigger defense. Though. You you only you can eat it three times and still ain't put on no weight. You gotta. But I got a great metabolism, bro. I got a great metabolism. Yeah. I I thank God for that. But um, Pearly, got to hey. talk to you about a couple of things, man. Now. Okay. We gonna get into the, you know, who's in and who's out segment. All brought to you, of course, by Tropical Gyros. All right. Okay. And um, as we exit the local scene, the headliners, the local, you know, the home court brought to you, of course, by Burger King Nassau. Yeah. Get up yeah, into the yeah. who's in, who's out. I got a rumor swirling out of Miami now. I was talking with Wally about it earlier. I've heard other Dolphin fans bring it up. I heard it in the barbershop this afternoon. Could it be that Byron Jones is posturing for an off-season relief for a return to Dallas. I've been hearing it on the Dallas side too. We will have an opportunity to replace Anthony Brown. We're gonna, we're gonna need a corner. Everybody on that right side's a free agent. You know they're gonna pay Diggs. He can't go anywhere next season when he becomes a free agent. So maybe on a discounted rate because he's had some issues in Miami. We got Byron Jones back, who was a great lockdown corner for us. Couldn't intercept a thing, but he could lock you down. Um, maybe he returns to the fold. So can you elaborate a little bit on that? Is the honeymoon really over after two quality seasons by Byron Jones in Miami? I, I don't know if that's the rumor that's coming out. I know that he's, he is not healed as well as they thought he would. Um, they hope he will come back in time for a playoff run. But... Um, I don't. I think his days as a dolphin are numbered. I think that much so. I think that much so. Particularly how the uh, free agent, uh, uh, free agent corner has been playing well and getting better every week. They're making that big money we pay in Byron. So oh, do we really need to be spending that? Can we put that in the supplements next year, or can well, we get another corner? Like I said, so, I've heard, happen. I've heard rumors from the Dallas side that in the off season. They could get a two-for-one special out of Miami. Byron Jones and Cedric Wilson make a return to Dallas because it didn't work out in Miami. I think Cedric. I think Cedric has. I think Cedric has. has, has uh, he's come up with one. He's come up with like one key catch every game. Just one, or maybe two. But his 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 um. I don't see. I don't see him staying there. He's I out of there, bro. I, you're, I don't you're, think you're, he's trying to one or two. It's a two-year deal, but. They could let him go and not lose too much salary cap wise and in, in going into year two. But that little third no, string receiver of yours. The third string receiver of yours, or yes, number three receiver, not third string, but your number three receiver, your slot receiver. What's his name? Begins with an uh, S. Oh crap. Strickland. Um, um uh, I can't pronounce his name. I know you I can't pronounce his shots. Oh crap. Wally, what's his name? He has great he has great the, hands. The, Hold on. The, the third right receiver now. for the Dolphins. Got a touchdown. No, not Cedric yeah, Wilson. He had a great, he had a great He's a catch. rookie guy. Got a, a touchdown a couple of weeks ago for you. No, not Craig Craft. Just a receiver, no, number 14. No, 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 no. Um, um, that dude no, right there. Shaheen. Yeah. 
Hold on. No. Who? Sheffield. Say it again, Brady. Sheffield. Brandon yeah. Sheffield. That's him right there. Came over in the 49er trade. Yes. In the preseason. Oh, they cut yes. him and you signed him. Obviously, the coaching. I tree. can't remember how we got him. I don't know how we got him, but we got him. All right. No, Wally just brought it up to snuff. He was cut in the preseason by the 49ers. Obviously, the, the, the history with yeah. your coach McDaniels yes. and, 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 the, and the history with the, and the familiarity with the offense made it a no brainer. But he is actually playing a, a quality third receiver for you guys. He's evolving. Look He's good. eating off the fact that. You can't cover Hill and Waddle and him at the same time. One of them is going to be left open, and he's yeah. always that guy left open. Real talk. So, Real talk. I think he's a good player for you guys. I think there's a lot of upside there. But yeah, he was he I was keep, pretty he was pretty productive in the in the win over over the, like the Browns, if I remember correctly. How to touch a touchdown in that one? Win. Yeah, I can't remember. I, I, I'm pretty certain. I to look well, we got to do our remaining NFL picks coming up toward the end. But we can't recap the games yesterday. I think all three were quite entertaining in their own right. Um, I, I like, I really enjoyed your game with them. I, 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 like I said, I think when we spoke earlier, the Giants are a couple of players away. They're a couple of players away. And you know, it's so ironic yesterday, Pearly. When I was talking about the game, I said, yeah, you know, 13-7, Giants at the half. Mr. Naughty, you sound depressed. You don't sound too confident in the Cowboys. And I quote, I say, Mystery Dolphin, relax. When the dust settles and this one is over, Cowboys win 27-20. What was the score yesterday? 28-20. Do I know my team or what? And I guess what? I think Buffalo is not as good as we think they are. Or Detroit is a lot better than we think they are. I think it's the I think it's the the, the former. Pretty. Um, no. You saying that and I know why you saying that. Because of your dolphin blood boiling. But I'm telling you something. No, 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 no. I no, no, no. I watched Detroit play them. Detroit played Buffalo tough. No, no. Let me finish. Credit to Campbell and the job he's doing coaching up the Lions. I had a couple of conversations yesterday saying they're a draft and free agency away from being a playoff team next year. I don't know what they'll do, but I think they'll be able to make the playoffs because they're young and they're talented. However, you, 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 let's look at the numbers. Josh Allen was 24 for 42. Two, two, um, he was sacked three times. He threw an interception and he threw for two touchdowns. He threw for two touchdowns. He had 10 rushes for 78 yards. Over 300 yards of combined yeah. offense, total offense, so Pearl. Yeah, yeah, but then, all right. So, and then, so what did the rest, what did the rest do? Singletary had 72 yards and out there? No, but listen, what I'm trying to tell you is this. Your take on the Bills right now is a skew for one reason. You're not taking into effect okay. the multitude of injuries that they've had. Stop, stop, stop. You don't let me say that when I want to talk. So why are you bringing it up now? You tell me what it is. Next man up. No, no, that's no, no. no. No, hear me, Pearly. I get all that. All right. I'm saying you, they have a lot of guys returning now. Not saying that they're out on, on the brink of returning. They took a big blow yesterday with the loss of Vaughn Miller. I'll give you that. But you got yep. a lot of other guys coming back. Rousseau is coming back. The, the, the safety. Um, Edwards is okay. coming back. Tredavious Diggs okay. is coming back. So you're getting some quality okay. and even some all-pro kind caliber players coming back. So the defense, I think, will improve, and they'll get right on the offensive line, too, because they got a couple of injured starters coming back there as well. I'm not okay. taking anything away from your Dolphins, but I feel like you got to judge Buffalo the next time they play the Dolphins at, at 100% healthy. Kind of similar right. to the same way I say watch the Cowboys and the Eagles play, everybody healthy. Let's take a different take on both those teams after the game. And it's the same thing I say with Buffalo. Yes, they've shown me a lot of glaring weaknesses and, and iffy moments, but they have been playing with second and third stringers in certain key positions because of injury. But Allen, to me, is a play away from imploding. Like, to me, he's always got to push it that extra mile. 
You you, you don't you need, need play, to throw five touchdowns. Maybe you need to hand to the running back. He's one hit away from watching the regular season from, from his couch. Well, the way he plays the game, he'll put himself yes. in a position to get hit like that. Reminds me of Brett Jones, who was with the Baltimore Colts at the time. Yep. And, I mean, for, and I hate to put it like this way, but if Allen keeps running around and he gets to it, I don't think he's coming back, like you say, in three weeks like Tua did. I think he's done for the year. Yep. Because he's had issues with concussions before, and the style he plays is not conducive to remaining healthy in the NFL, especially at the quarterback position. Yep, yep. 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 So we'll see where that goes. I think yeah, the Cowboys are poised to do well in the NFC, bar an injury. The offense yeah. is catching up to the defense, and we and we stick into what we do. Smash mouth, run the ball, and set up the pass. So I'm, I'm yeah, I think, I think, I think Minnesota moving forward. Real well from the, I think Minnesota bounced back real well from the thrashing. You know, they didn't, they didn't, they didn't collapse. I, I was, I was, and then they held and strong. Like, uh, and, then, and, they, and, they, and they were behind, and they came back. They did. They played strong, resilient football yesterday. I mean, to their credit, New England played a good game. It was 16-16 yeah. late yeah. into the yeah. third. Yeah. You know. You know you can say what you want to say. Bill Belichick is a coach. And he, he, you know. And sometimes he can make chicken salad out of chicken crap, I'll tell you. Yep. All right, Purdy. Music's on. We got to go to the you first know, when break. I saw, when I saw pretty good, when I saw pretty good, um, yesterday. Well, we'll talk that on the flip side of the break as the November 25th edition of Talking Heads continues right after this. A jump start on gifts at KFC this holiday season. This November, when you enjoy the craveable flavor of a KFC Meal Deal Mega or a Big Deal Mega, you can enter for a chance to win. KFC is giving away one MetaQuest 2 VR headset every week that can be yours by simply mega sizing and entering your receipt. Enjoy your finger licking good KFC chicken meal and enter the metaverse, courtesy of KFC Nassau. It's finger licking good. With fine style with elegant taste, then fine threads is your place. If you want those slots hemmed or just taking the waist, then fine threads is your place. If you want to look suave and never near everywhere you go, like you're supposed to be in a video. Want to step out and look great? Then fine threads is your place. With fine style with elegant taste, then fine threads is your place. Is your place. Is your place. George Shoes and Accessories is your one-stop shop for all your footwear needs. Whatever the occasion, John's is confident you will find what you're looking for. Among our always growing collection of amazing and trendy styles, we cover women, men, children, the whole family. Together with John's great prices and helpful and friendly customer service, your experience in shopping with us will be time well spent. Too busy to come in store? Shop with us online, www.johnshoes.com. John's also now carry small home appliances, so come on in today at John's. There'll be put fashion at your feet. When I had got prostate cancer, my family didn't know if I was going to live. So within days, I got an appointment. They presented me with treatment options, and we set up a robotic prostatectomy. When my scans came back, there were no signs of cancer. They don't see you as a number, they see you as a part of the family. I'm going on with my life. It's a real gift. Call us at Cancer Treatment Centers of America. The Better Network is giving you bigger savings at a live Black Friday sale. With select store and van locations opening as early as 6 a.m., purchase devices as low as $29 and receive doorbuster prizes, accessories, and so much more. Don't want to wait? Alive customers can beat the Black Friday rush and shop online as early as 12 a.m. with even more deals. Friday, the 25th of November, Alive's Black Friday sale. You don't want to miss it. Visit BeAlive.com for more information. 
Pumped for pumpkin? Indulge your pumpkin passion with Dunkin's Pumpkin Spice Flavored Coffees. Enjoy a Dunkin' Pumpkin Spice Signature Latte made with rich espresso, pumpkin spice, and vanilla flavors, all topped with whipped cream, caramel drizzle, and cinnamon sugar. Or try the new Nutty Pumpkin Coffee, combining Dunkin' Original Blend Coffee, hazelnut flavor, a delicious pumpkin spice swirl, and cream for a delicious nutty twist. Available hot or cold, Dunkin' offers the ultimate pumpkin coffee experience. The Bahamas runs on Dunkin'. This is Guardian Radio 96.9 FM. Fresh news, smart talk, all day. Friday, November 25th edition of Talking Ads continues right now. We are live, Duncan Carmichael getting it in. Don't forget the season sippings are back, man. The flavored coffees for the holiday season are here. So you definitely want to take advantage of that, man. Indulge and enjoy at all of your favorite Dunkin' Donut locations. Downtown Bay Street, Paradise Island, Palmdale, Brennan Road with the drive through East Street South with the drive through Carmichael, the newest location where we're at right now. And at the airport, pre-clearance and post-clearance. So no reason for you not to be running on Duncan. Mm. All right. Mm. World Cup, what you got for me there, Pearly? Pearly, I have got newfound respect for the Americans. Newfound respect. They, they drew nil with England today. They played an awesome game. England America draws with everybody. England. They got they more draws draw. than the underwear factory. Yeah, but they had some. They had some good. They had some pretty some pretty good shots on goal. They they should have scored. They should have scored. But I don't know. And then I I, I actually got up five o'clock this morning to watch Iran and Wales, which I thought was great. Iran Iran beat them like in the eight minutes into extra time, and then scored like, the winning eight the, the goal and scored a second goal with eleven minutes into extra time to beat them two 0 And then Senegal beat the, the host country three one. And then, and then the Netherlands and Ecuador um, drew one-one. So it's been some, it's been some interesting play. Um, a couple of the teams you expect to do well: Brazil won two 0 yesterday. Portugal won, um, and Spain won. So these are the kind of these are the teams you expect France when you expect these teams to win. Um, but it's gonna be real interesting to see. It's gonna be real interesting over the, in, the, in games two and three, and, and particularly the next round. So just wait and see. Excited about it. Well, tomorrow, to, tomorrow promises to have some pretty good games. Curly. I'm trying to remember, trying to remember what we got tomorrow now. I, I think uh, we got oh we got Tunisia and Australia tomorrow. And then you got Poland and Saudi Arabia. France and Denmark. That should be a pretty good game. Then and then Argentina need to make a bounce back. And they got Mexico tomorrow. So Argentina got to beat Mexico tomorrow. They got to beat Mexico tomorrow, or they're gonna be a big, big problem because they cannot have two losses and they cannot take a draw. They cannot take a draw, so that's gonna be interesting tomorrow to to, to watch. Um, okay. And your phone's going off. Yes, that's Early. that's the doctor calling. Oh. Yeah. Maybe did the Braves make an off-season move or something? Is that what happened? Phone blowing up. I think the Braves made off. They did be a doubt sound. They did be a doubt sound. They run your life, you know. Huh? I said the kids said they are doubts now, so they run your life. Seems so. I'm looking at it. Not just you, you know. I've seen it happen to others. I'm wondering if that's what I have to look forward to. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's what you gotta look forward to. They they automatically especially see you lucky you got two boys, so they can be kind of cool. So I have a daughter. Especially if she's the baby. She basically what? takes control and tells you what to do, how to eat, how to walk, what to wear, everything. When, when they had that boy, when they had that um room of going around I was in the hospital sick, she said, Daddy, you should put a voice news out saying, um, that you're okay. Let me hear it before you put it out. You know that what that young lady made you do it three times before you said it out? What? No, 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 Daddy, that doesn't sound right, do it over. 
No, 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 no. Take that out. Put that in. Okay, that's fine. You can send it out. I say, I'll be George. I'll be George. Right. You need that's to cool up, Can't lie. That's Makula. Can't lie. Huh? That's Makula. Can't lie. Hey, it sounds so. No, 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 no. That's Makula. That's Makula. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't, I ain't seen this yet. I ain't seen this yet. Well, knowing it's half the battle, like G.I. Joe say. Yeah, 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 yeah. But, um, so, since we see some good stuff happening in the World Cup, I'm excited about tomorrow. I'm excited about how to go for it. I'm looking, get to the I'm, second round. I'm looking at some of them games for tomorrow, too, Pearly. I think they should be really good. No, I, I'm, I'm that Mexico, uh, Argentina game, I'm going to make play close attention to that because Argentina, I'm Argentina, who I picked to be. In the, at least in the final four, scaring me right now. Nope. So I don't playing, know. We'll see what happens. Though. They're not playing up the snuff. They don't look good. Well, the, I mean, Messi, Messi got his goal, but I mean, uh, that they can play better. They, they're better than that. They're much better than that, and I expect to see better than that. Will we? Sometimes teams get oh, in the will, funk in the will. World I, Cup I, and they I, can't I recover. We will. No, I think they will. I think they will. They're too good a team. They're really too good a team. They're really too good a team. So I, I can't say the same. And then I, 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 I'm anxious in that, in that France, um, Denmark game. That should be pretty good. Um, Poland, Saudi Arabia don't don't trickle me. And Tunisia, Australia don't trickle me. So, um, but France, I'll probably be up and watch the Tunisia Australia game anyway. That's that a fine France game should be entertaining. Yeah, yeah. But uh, it's Gotta amazing. Watch. It's amazing. When, Sorry? Go ahead, go ahead. So it's amazing. These, these, all these country teams are really super all-star. I, I don't know if you, you know, I look at it, I don't know if you want to call the country teams all-star teams or the teams they play for, like, man, you got a bunch of foreigners and that's an all-star. I don't know if you, which one you want to call our all-star teams. But if you look at Brazil team, Brazil team probably, their bench probably can start on most teams around the world. They are very talented. They got that 21 year old. I can't and pronounce they run who scored two goals. Oh, oh they, they're going to be awesome. I, I can't wait to watch them play again. And when do they play again? I think they play on Monday. Yeah, Switzerland on Monday. That's, don't sleep on the Smiths either. Mm. I know, but the, I'm not. But the problem I worried about that, Neymar got hurt. So I haven't gotten an update on, on his injury yet. So I was going to on this interview to see how far it is. That might be an issue right there. Uh, uh, in terms of talent, uh, not really. In terms of talent, not really. But team leadership and, and stuff like that, then, you, then yeah, maybe so. Then yeah, maybe so. But outside of that, wow. that's all they do. All right. So, final 10 today. We got... Uh, your NFL power rankings for the week. And right now, Pearly, we got to get into the picks. I'm looking okay. at time, and time is flying. So we're going to get into the All picks. Right, and once we right get now. into the picks, we'll uh, get into the commercial break. And then out of the break, we'll get right into uh, the NFL power rankings for week 12, going into this week's football. Okay. And we'll see who okay. remains, you know, up top. And we'll see who okay. gets booted out after this okay. week's uh, games. So uh, okay. with that being said, let's start look at these NFL games. And Where? we had three yesterday. And uh, yeah. the Bills the and the Vikings were all winners. Yeah. And now yeah, we pick, have uh, games on top. You are correct. I rolled the dice with the Patriots. And it was uh, came up yeah. a little short. But that's okay. Yeah. Sometimes okay. you got to gamble. Sometimes you got to roll the dice. So it's all good. Okay. And like I said, buy those blue donuts at Dunkin' Donuts too. Let me remind you one more time. Buy the blue donuts and, the, and the medium coffee double, special. Dining room bonus points. I'll be there tomorrow and bonus my coffee and donuts. Yes, Black Friday reward, dining rewards points all weekend long. And you buy the blue donut with the medium me. coffee. You're going to support the uh, Rotary Clubs International and the Rotary Club of all Bay. So it's definitely yep, a yep, good look all the way around. Yep. So yep. let's have a look at the games. And... Uh, We'll go from there. Games okay. on top for the weekend coming up. All right. You had three play yesterday, right. 
I'm getting to the yep. schedule right now. I'm pulling it up. I figure that's why you keep saying free play yesterday. I figure you haven't gone to schedule up on you, you know. This 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 intranet is running a little slow. <laughs> okay. I didn't say I the you, internet. Bro, I, got you. I said the intranet. But um, if you have them readily available, okay. Here we go. Here we go. Now 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 it's shaping up. Now we're cooking with okay. gas. But the game. The games yesterday, though, Purdy, one thing I must say, they were very competitive for the first time in a while, you know. It wasn't just a blowout here and a blowout there. They actually uh-huh. were entertaining games. Okay. Yeah, they, they've been really good entertaining games that I enjoy. I, I can't complain. So here we go. Okay. It's loading. It's loading. <laughs> I no, keep figuring I figure what's going on here. You, you know, you want me anyway, to you know what I can do? Load- to my picks, I have the schedule right here. I'm okay. going to jump on in and to get it done. I'm looking at them. You want me to start calling them out? You know, we can start with Denver and Carolina. Call them out. And Carolina. All right, Denver, I got Car- at, at Carolina. I like Denver to win that one. Denver, yeah, okay. I take Denver and the points. They one and a half. Atlanta at the Washington Commanders. Washington's been hot lately, and they're at home, so you got to go with Washington at home. Okay, I, I mean, that's fine. That's fine, but I, I, I think I'm going to go with Atlanta. Go ahead, Dirty Bird. Yeah. Okay, then we got Cincinnati at Tennessee. I'm going to go out here. I'm going to say Tennessee at home in a low-scoring, ugly game. I Cincinnati, Cincinnati has issues stopping the run. Healthy dose of Derrick Henry is coming. I think Cincinnati is picking up. Cincinnati is picking up its, its play. Um, I'm, I'm going to go with the Bengals. All right, the Ravens and the Jaguars. Um, I like the Ravens by a touchdown. I like the Ravens also. The Raiders and the Seahawks. Um, Seahawks. I like the, home C- in I like the Seahawks. I like the Seahawks. I like the Seahawks because they're at home to get this one done. The Chargers okay. on the road against the Cardinals in Arizona. I like the Chargers. I like the Chargers also. Kyler Murray makes a return for Arizona. I think there'll be some points up in the game, but I think the Chargers get it done. More defense. Rams and the Chiefs in Kansas City. Really? I get the Chiefs. By two I like the Chiefs by also. Touchdowns. New Orleans on the road against San Francisco. I like the 49ers. Purdy, I think you muted yourself. Or we might have lost Purdy. You got the Green Bay Packers on the road against the Philadelphia Eagles. I like the Eagles. Upset birds swirling here. Aaron Rodgers is 6-1 against the Eagles. But I think the Eagles get it done at home. And finally, you got Pittsburgh and Indianapolis on Monday night. I like Indianapolis at home behind Jonathan Taylor. I think Michael Pittman shows up. And I think the Colts get it done against the Steelers. All right. I don't know what happened to Purley. But on behalf of Purley, I want to wish each and every one of you on a happy holiday weekend. Continue to enjoy your Thanksgiving. Love yourself. Do it responsibly. And uh, get into Duncan. They got Black Friday double rewards points going on all weekend long. And get yourself running on Duncan. For Mr. Producer in studio, for my engine extraordinaire on, on location, Big Wally. And uh, everybody who chimed in today and Earl of Pearl, who, who zoomed in and zoomed out and we lost him. Yeah, my, my, computer, my computer freaked out for like 30 seconds. All right. Well, say bye to the people, Pearly. Bye to the people. There you go. We'll see you Monday, Lord. Spare life. Have a great weekend, Bahamas. Be good. And if you can, be good. Be good at it. All right. Your NFL Power Rankings coming up right here on the Final Ten on the drive home. We'll see you Monday.
Dunkin' lets the good vibes flow with their new blood or bursting with flavor. Dunkin' Blood Orange Refreshers balance bold, sweet blood orange with tart cranberry and a hint of fall spices for a fun twist on a much-loved flavor. Served over ice with either green tea or coconut milk, Dunkin' Blood Orange Refreshers are loaded with B vitamins to keep you feeling renewed and refreshed. What are you waiting for? The Bahamas runs on Dunkin'. Do you want a chance to win one of five Yamaha Kryptonite scooters? Do you like a taste of Frito-Lay chips? Well, all you have to do is purchase chips like Lay's, Doritos, and Cheetos at your favorite grocery store. And you can enter to win thanks to Frito-Lay and the Island Wholesale Scooter Giveaway Promotion. Want to know more? Join us at Super Value Mackey Street, November 26th. This Saturday from 1 to 3 p.m. for a chance to play Island Wholesale Shoot and Win Game for instant prizes and a chance to win one of five Yamaha scooters. Frito-Lay, distributed by Island Wholesale. Play with Island Games. We making dreams come true. Play with Island Games. We paying more out to you. Don't mind the noise in the market. You get cash in your pocket. Cause Island Games is spicy and spicy is tradition. So when you play, play Island Games. we put in Bahamian's voice. Guaranteed to play Island Games. We like them mother jokers. We've been here from the start. From the bike to computer. Island Games. We can make your dreams come true. We playing with Island Games. how important collecting your money can be to the success of your business. Start your relationship with Fidelity today so that we can show you the many options available to you with our merchant services. From click and pay options online to merchant terminals and e-commerce options, we're here to help your business succeed. For more details, speak to one of our business development officers at 356-7764 in Nassau or 352-6676 in Freeport. Visit our website at fidelitygroup.com or visit any of our branches. Get a jump start on gifts at KFC this holiday season. This November, when you enjoy the craveable flavor of a KFC Meal Deal Mega or a Big Deal Mega, you can enter for a chance to win. KFC is giving away one MetaQuest 2 VR headset every week that can be yours by simply mega-sizing and entering your receipt. Enjoy your finger-licking good KFC chicken meal and enter the metaverse, courtesy of KFC Nassau. It's finger-licking good. This is Guardian Radio 96.9 FM. Fresh news, smart talk, all day. sideline it's a move on thrown down inside the 25 of Washington at a time Mayfield taking a shot for Marshall Marshall leaping up but he makes the catch they'll run it with Gordon pushing ahead ball is out and I believe the Broncos were able to get on top of it it's Quinn Miners rescuing it Here's the play. Get up. He's changing the play. He's got to play against man-to-man. Throw it right away. All out pressure. Get it off. Barely beat the play clock to the end zone. The ball is caught. And it's a touchdown by Christian Kirk. 2-2 Atwell goes in motion from the 38-yard line. Off the fake to Akers. Stafford going deep. It is caught. Atwell, touchdown. Bottled up Jalen Hurts and is swarming to the ball. Hertz has 111 yards through the air, 35 on the ground. First play of the third. Hertz is hit as he tried to throw it. The ball knocked free, and the Colts have it. And Gakway gets there. Fake to Jacobs. Carr loads up. Adams is open. Walk off touchdown. A sweep of the Broncos for Las Vegas. How are you going to ignore the weather? The weather is what it is. Here's Harris. Harris turns the corner. 10, 5, leap into the end zone. Brissett comes back to a wide open Njoku. First down and more. Jumping over a defender. We don't 
Swings out. Fields over the middle. Cole Komet. One hand block. What a catch by Komet. Who is this guy? That he has the attention of the players. He's universally respected. That's an offside. Dortch makes the catch and he is off. Dortch inside the 30. Good move. Hufanga finally gets him down near the 13. Third down and nine. Speaking Dalton up. heaves this one downfield. It is caught and taken in by Olave for a Saints touchdown. But you better be able to do that, and St. Brown does really well. Here's Patterson who fumbled the last time he touched it. Cordero Patterson has a seam. Patterson splits it. Goodbye. Cordero Patterson, the ninth time in his NFL career. A house call on a kick. Low snap. Tannehill and a big sack just when Green Bay needed it. Preston Smith. Look how many guys they have on the right side of their offensive line. They got five guys to the right. Give it to Williams. Looking for his third of the day, and he's got it for the touchdown. And so it's not the whole cast together, but a few of the stars are back. Herbert going deep. Downfield for Joshua. Palmer got it. Touchdown, Chargers! Slides up to the top portion of your screen. And in that direction, it's intercepted. He was throwing for Cooks, but Kendall Fuller has a takeaway, and that's a commander's touchdown. Four-man rush. Jones steps into it, throws to the middle. High, and it's intercepted! It's picked off by Kirby Joseph, the rookie, with blocks into Giants territory. Joseph all the way down to the 41. Wilson. And lofting it up, and he's got him. It's caught by Mims, working on Adrian Phillips. From the 16-yard line, Marcus Jones. Got a block from Schooler. Here he goes. He's going to try to beat the putter. He does. He's gone. And that is a touchdown. Smith keeps it. Going in the air again for the end zone. It's caught. Touchdown. Marquise Goodwin. What a throw on fourth and one. <laughs> White. Nice patience, and he's free. Rashad White, one man to beat, and he shoves him down. He just threw Diggs out of the club here in Munich. On second and nine, Burrow flips it outside to P. Ryan. P. Ryan with blocker who's doing from in front of him, and then down the sideline to the end zone. Parsons lined up on the near side, standing up and trying to attack. Cousins, here comes Parsons. Parsons got him from behind, and the ball is out. And the Cowboys recover. It was Parsons coming around his man and getting to him from behind, and Armstrong has the recovery. I think they punch it in. I think that was a dummy signal. It's Jackson to the edge. Lamar Jackson into the end zone for a Ravens touchdown. You've got to get in his face and get him to do something he doesn't want to do. Here's Mostert with running room to the 10, the 5, touchdown! And if they can keep Tannehill healthy and in a good place, it can be tough. Well, play action. Last play before the two-minute warning, and you might as well go deep, and you might as well go to your rookie receiver, Burks, and that sets up a first and goal at the five-yard line. Side by side from the very start, but they've got a talented roster. Samuel gets it. Trent Williams out in front of him. Ayuk blocking. Debo. End zone touchdown. What a play. No flags. Another one for San Francisco. Six carries, 51 yards for Cook. Looking for more. And he's going to get more. Cook into Cleveland territory and taken down at the 34 yard line. Put 55 inside. Get a matchup you like? I don't know. It's against Zach Martin. Good luck. Going deep. Pollard has the catch, and no one will touch him again. 
Touchdown, Dallas! Hurts will run. Takes it 